Bob, I can tell you there are a lot of people in Yankee land that are breathing a sigh of relief right now. Yesterday, the Yankees front office legitimately did not know which way this was going to go. Late in the evening, we started to hear whispers that there was another team involved in the Padres and that there was a four in front of it. And Jack, at that point in time, Aaron Boone actually made a phone call to Aaron Judge to try to talk to him one last time to make his case for him coming back to the New York Yankees. And ultimately, as Michael mentioned, the finances, a big part of it. It needed to work in that capacity. But the Yankees went for the full court press, and Hal Steinbrenner came up in a big way. And because of all the things that you just mentioned, Meredith, and a lot of things that happened leading up to that, this is one of the more fascinating and yet also secretive negotiations that I think I've ever covered. If we flash back to Sunday, the Yankees were around eight years, 300 million. They went up to eight years, 320, and then Hal Steinbrenner has a phone conversation with Aaron Judge. Michael referenced that earlier. And while he's in Italy, he says, do you want to be a Yankee? And Judge says, I do, but I've got this offer from the Padres that is a 10-year offer. Well, it turns around and he says, we'll do 360. Judge says, I'll take 360. And the player that the Yankees could not afford to lose, there was no plan B. We've all talked about what was plan B. There wasn't a plan B. Plan A needed to occur, and the Yankees were able to retain him. So important to this Yankee team. Obviously, we saw what he can do over the past couple of years, last year in particular with the 62 home runs. The power is there. He is a fan favorite. He is so important to this organization. And we spoke with Brian Cashman and I asked him, do you think Aaron Judge will be named the captain? And while he said that certainly is a Hal Steinbrenner decision, do you expect that to come soon? I do. And I remember going back to the interview you did with Hal earlier in the offseason where you asked him that question. And I think this is part and parcel of who Aaron Judge is for this Yankee organization. He has already been their unofficial captain. If you talk to players and personnel around the Yankees, they talk about how big an influence he is in the clubhouse and on the field, how he welcomes players. So, Meredith, we've talked throughout this negotiation about how important is it for Aaron Judge to be a New York Yankee. There's legacy there. There's the potential Monument Park plaque. There's the captaincy. Maybe there's Cooperstown, as Brian Cashman referenced earlier. So I think that the Yankees are very happy, but also very relieved today. You and I spoke to some of them last night, and I remember one of official at one point putting his hands together almost in a prayer like gesture to say we need to have this guy back the Yankees got